Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, we're going to be working on the sound and adding some oomph into our game. So let's roll the intro and let's get right into it. So currently our game is a mute game. We don't have any sounds and we're going to change that by including some of the sounds that we have in our project already. So you can see that we have some slime hit, uh, slime shoot, pickups, footsteps. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on the slime shoot and this is going to be pretty easy. There's a bunch of different ways we can do this, but let's take the easiest route that we can think of. Inside our objects, we have all these bullets here. And I think the easiest thing to do is have a sound play whenever we actually create the bullet. For instance, we're going to say play sound and then pass in the clip. If we take a look at play sound, we're just creating a wrapper and the wrapper is just going to say audio play, whatever sound clip we're passing in. And then we're just passing in a random, uh, a random, um, a random priority. And then we're telling it that it cannot loop. So this will take care of any time a bat bullet is going to shoot. We'll also do one for the skeleton. And again, a lot of this code we should probably add into a parent object, but we can get away with doing this. Now, if I hit F5, I have my sound turned up. So anytime that we come into range, let's see if we can find a guy and get them to shoot at us here, we should get some sound. So you can hear the sound being played every single time one of these um, bullets is being created. Now we also want to do some sounds for our own bullet. So let's open up the bullet object and we'll do the same thing underneath the create. Except this time we're going to go down to sounds and instead of using the slime shoot, we have a sound character shoot. We'll be using the same function play sound. And now when I run this again, anytime we create this bullet object, you can hear that we create that little bit of a fireball effect. Now what we want to do is add some footsteps in so you can see that our guy is going to be walking around. So we also need to add those footsteps in so that our game is not completely mute when we're walking around. So let's close everything that we have here. We can right click and say close all but this. And then let's go up and open up our player here and let's go to the step event. I'm going to maximize this because we're going to be working on some of the code in here. I'm going to go all the way down to the very end and underneath manage recharge is where we're going to add a new region in here. We'll just add a region for footsteps. And I'm pretty sure that we already have a lot of the information that we need in here. If we take a look at the character at the create event, if we don't have a timer, which I don't see, let's create one now. So we'll just have a underscore timer and we'll set it to zero. So this timer is going to increase every step so we can add it to the top and just have it plus equal one. So every step, this is going to increase. I only want my footsteps to happen if I'm pressing a horizontal or vertical key. So I can add an if statement to check to say if my horizontal input it's not equal zero or my vertical input is not equal zero then i know i'm pressing either a left or right key or up and down once i know i'm pressing one of these keys i want to say if my timer mod 15 so if the remainder equals zero then what do i want to do well we're just going to say play sound again and we will use snd underscore footstep now this should take care of everything so let's try and run the game and I can see that I have an error, so let's fix this right now. And we can't use three equal signs, we'll just use the two. Different programming language. So when we run our game, if I walk, it's a little hard to hear, but you'll have to take my word for it if it's not coming through the video. But we do have footsteps happening every time we hit that 15 um, remainder. Okay, so we have footsteps. We also have the enemies shooting. Let's see what else we can add for sounds. If we come back to our project and we close everything and we go down to sounds, you can see that we also have a slime hit and an item pickup. So let's go into our enemies and go into the enemy itself. We have an object bullet. Whenever a bullet collides with the enemy, then this is what's going to run. So at the very end, we could also just say play underscore sound, pass in that slime hit. And while we're here, let's go into our power-ups Go into the power up parent and we had this in a previous episode where we just kind of left a little comment here and all we want to do is remove that comment and play a particular sound so we'll play the item pickup sound. now if we hit f5 we should have a lot of sounds in our game so we have our footsteps 
if I find a enemy, they will also have some sounds here. And whenever we fire our fireballs, we have some sounds. And you could hear the skeleton getting hit there. Let's see if we can find this last guy. And then we can do the item pickup. Perfect. So the item got picked up. Uh, I don't have a sound for when we go to the next level, but that's pretty much it for this episode. We've integrated a whole bunch of sounds and you can see how easy it can be done. You don't have to worry about the priorities and loops and everything. You can just write a little wrapper to get around a lot of the stuff. So that's it for this video. And I thank you for watching. A giant thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon and YouTube and all that, but a massive shout out to those who are upping the level, and that is in no particular order, Robert, Angel, Annie, Ian, Ashby, Blunt BSC, Bill, Darthworth, Paul, Andrea, Victor, Lucas, and Edward. Again, thank you everyone so much. Let's continue to make this channel better. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment in the description below. You guys know the drill. I'll catch you in the next video.